Welcome back everybody to our next to last video in our series regarding progressive aging. Again, my name is Riley. I'm a doctor of physical therapy and certified geriatric specialist here at IPAL Physical Therapy. The topic this week is regarding our pulmonary system or basically our lungs. And the reason that we decided to discuss this is I referenced it a little bit in the second video. However, I wanted to get a little bit more specific because as we age, typically people have or are aware of some common conditions regarding the pulmonary system like pneumonia, bronchitis, emphysema, and COPD. Now, another reason this is important is because those of you or people that you may know that have cardiac issues or heart issues, it also affects the lungs. It can make some of these conditions a little bit worse as we tend to uh, progress with our aging. So as we age, we tend to see a, a functional decline within our pulmonary or our lung system by 50 or 60 percent. Now that may vary depending on the medical complexity of an individual or just the health status of those individuals, but we generally see a reduction of efficiency within that system. Similar to emphysema, what we see is a reduction of our pulmonary system efficiency. However, the severity of that is completely different. But there's similar symptoms of that with our pulmonary decline that do relate to emphysema. So what we tend to see is increased distancing within the air spaces of the lungs. We start seeing a little bit of thickening or hardening of the lungs itself uh, within particular tissues within the lungs. Uh, the other thing is, is we see a hardship or a reduction of actual expansion or recoil of the lungs with breathing. The other thing is, is a reduction of efficiency uh, regarding diffusion. And, and basically what that is, is the interchanging of the gases in the lungs. So activity is very important with these conditions and a good starting point for all of this is a suggested two to three times a week for about 30 minutes. Now in video uh, number two, I actually talked about 30 minutes may be hard for some people, so it may be good to, to cut it out or segment it out to where you're doing like three 10 minute sessions or maybe two 15 minute sessions. However, the thing I didn't discuss is actually how to measure your activity or the difficulty of that, and that being the intensity of the activity. A very easy way to do that is zero to 10. Zero is very, very easy, 10 is very, very exhausting. Now, when you first start out, the suggestion would be is to target the difficulty of the activity for about three to four out of 10, and that's your way of perceiving that as, as a hard or as a hardship within that activity. The reason this scale is important is because most people that have some pulmonary dysfunction may tend to have some cardiac dysfunction as well, maybe on cardiac medications that tend to suppress the heart rate and it won't give you a very accurate reading regarding if you're using uh, your own pulse or a pulse oximeter for your vital signs. Now, if things start becoming easier and you're more tolerable to these activities, you can, or I suggest that you basically increase your activity to three to five times per week for 30 minutes, but increase your intensity instead of three to four, move it to four to six, but don't go over a six. The other big thing is, guys, I'm not asking you to have anything fancy. You can do a lot of of this simple activity with simple resources. For example, you can utilize endurance or a lot of this constant activity like walking around your neighborhood or going to the park for a walk, riding a stationary bike or maybe using a bike at home. If you have a treadmill, treadmill is a good way to do that. Very simple things to basically engage and start increasing your activity. If you guys have any questions regarding this topic or if you absolutely have no clue where to start, those are things that we can help you on. If you want to, you can give us a call, comment below, or even shoot me an email, and we'd be glad to help you. Uh, until then, we ask that you stay safe, stay healthy, and in the pursuit of wellness.